bem-vindos à FutureCon 2022. Estou no stand da itglobal.com com Olaf Sargev. Did I say correctly your name? No, no unfortunately no. <laughs> Oleg Arseniev, okay. itglobal.com, yes. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Uh, thank you for uh, like this interview. And uh, we are really very happy to be here in Brazil. Aquí, uh, aquí estamos ayudando a los ESPs uh, en uh, aumentar sus recetas, uh, mejorando uh, el tráfico, optimizando el tráfico. That's pretty good. Uh, so, uh, is it your first time at FutureCom? Yes, yes, it's the first time uh, uh, in FutureCom. So, we are quite a young group of companies. Uh, we are entering uh, into Latin American marketing this year, so that's why for us uh, it's uh, really very important to be uh, in uh, these kind of events because Brazil is a very big market. Since we are focusing in IT, uh, in telecommunications, uh, this market is really very uh, promising for us. And what are you showing, uh, showcasing at FutureCom? Well, uh, the group of companies itself uh, provides uh, different services, so we are focusing in cloud solutions like private cloud, public cloud. Uh, also, we have um, uh, internal development and, uh, for example, here together with VAS Experts. VAS Experts is uh, uh, the company, a member of uh, IT Global Group. Uh, we promote uh, Stingray Service Gateway. It's uh, a special software solution that includes uh, different important features for any internet service providers like uh, BNG, like uh, CGNAT, uh, like DPI for uh, like quality of service, quality of experience uh, in one uh, complete solution that helps to the ISPs to uh, optimize the usage of their traffic to increase um, their um, uh, revenues and also to make uh, better the quality of service to the customers. So, and since uh, the Brazilian market is really very growing in terms of internet, especially in this post-COVID era when we have uh, many uh, people working from homes, uh, the uh, like, uh, impact of uh, uh, internet quality, internet service quality is very important. That is why we hope that our solution will help to ISPs to give better service and also to improve their like commercial situation and also uh, finally everybody will be happy because it's really a very powerful thing and uh, it's one of the products that we develop inside the group of companies. Also we have uh, in other products, uh, we have, for example have ITSM, ESM platform, simple one. Also we have our own virtualization platform, uh, VStack, uh, it's uh, like special solution for uh, virtualization of infrastructure. Uh, that also can be interesting for everybody who is looking for like alternative solutions in uh, virtualization because we know like uh, industry leaders uh, but we uh, created like hyper converged platform uh, with a really uh, very accessible uh, cost uh, and uh, really very high performance that is actually proven already by uh, thousands of customers that we are having all over the world. And you mentioned the ISPs and the pandemic, and uh, in Brazil at least, they were really important to maintain the internet operating. And you said about the cloud journey. Uh, what, are your, uh, what are your expectations for the new future of this ISPs market? So what do you see uh, them willing to buy and uh, betting the next phase of the internet? Well, you see, we are now uh, uh, like have an instant uh, growth of the uh, uh, traffic uh, because many people now like use a lot of internet and uh, this COVID uh, uh, pandemic actually gave also high uh, impulse for this and uh, from the other side uh, we now see the uh, 5G technology that also coming in many countries and we already testing in different countries this and also it is like a challenge for ISPs because they need to maintain different type of customers, uh, different type of services uh, within the same uh, like uh, last mile solution that they are having. Uh, that is why we uh, see that uh, probably uh, the ISPs that can 
uh, implement this advantage, uh, uh, like this uh, advanced technologies, these new solutions, they will be able to survive and probably to get more market. Because uh, historically in Brazil there are many, there are a lot of ISPs, small ISPs, medium yeah. ISPs. It, it uh, it, Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, in uh, all their uh, markets, uh, usually you have the process when they start, like, do some merchant acquisition. And finally, uh, you have, like, limited number of ISPs. And we are happy to enter to the market in the moment uh, when uh, these ISPs uh, can get the benefit uh, from our solutions that will help them to uh, to grow and uh, to like make these acquisitions and not be uh, like in bad position and finally purchased by somebody who is who is bigger so that, that's actually the uh, key feature the like killing feature I expect that we can uh, provide to this ISPs uh, helping with uh, optimization of traffic optimization yes we, we are seeing a lot of m a uh, transaction in ISPs market uh, in the past few years do you think this is one of the challenge of this market and how do you uh, see futurecon could uh, help those your company and those ISPs to manage everything maybe showcasing more solutions and uh, the key pillar of it well, you see, the idea of uh, uh, such events and in future com in particular probably is just uh, to meet, to share experience, because we really have uh, uh, very interesting experience in different countries. So we have implementations uh, in Europe, we have implementations in Africa, in Latin America, uh, in Asia, in Middle East. So uh, we can uh, show the cases how the operators uh, for example, maintaining the same uh, operation cost uh, increase uh, the revenue, uh, even uh, making the customer perception of the service better. So that's like a tricky thing. So from one perspective, you earn more, you uh, spend less, but the customer is more happy. So uh, this kind of solution of like tuning of your traffic uh, can help uh, the ISPs uh, to uh, give better service. As far as I know, these like small ISPs or medium ISPs, sometimes they do not know about these solutions or sometimes these solutions are too far. It's, it's difficult to talk to the... Not for them. Uh, yes, but uh, in reality, for example, we have here this small device. So this, the cost of this device is really very accessible. It's like uh, about $1,000. Uh, they are uh, ISP can purchase small license to start step by step um, their uh, uh, like optimization of its traffic. For example, for one gigabit, it will be enough. And uh, but the benefit that we it it can get it's really very uh, interesting and attractive. That's why uh, I think so. The idea uh, is to meet to these ISPs, to show them, to uh, share experience, uh, and maybe to then to establish more like uh, like more specific contact with some demonstrations, presentations, uh, like projects of like proof of concept, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's the idea why we're here, because we think that this market is interesting for us, and also the product can be interesting for the ISPs locally. Thank you very much for talking to me and have good luck with the show. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your words. Uh, I hope that uh, uh, everything will be good. I think the event is, is great. Uh, thank you very much for organizing all this. And uh, also I want to uh, like, uh, say good luck to all the ISPs uh, in Brazil and in Latin America. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.